Fish, sea mammals, and other marine animals are highly intelligent. Even some marine invertebrates, such as octopi, surpass dogs and cats on intelligence tests. These animals have complex social groups, extraordinary memories, and individual personalities. Scientists proved that sea animals feel pain and suffer just like other animals, yet they are abused in ways that would warrant cruelty to animals' charges if dogs and cats were the victims. They are mercilessly bludgeoned and chopped up alive, and sometimes even eaten alive as if they were nothing more than inanimate produce. Commercial fishing operations impale fish and other animals on long lines that stretch for up to 75 miles and are covered with sharp hooks. Gill nets up to a mile in length hang like curtains trapping tens of thousands of animals. Massive trawling nets, which can be larger than a football field, drag hundreds of tons of animals along the ocean floor. Rocks, coral, and other debris painfully rip the animals' scales and skin off. When the animals are pulled from the water, they undergo excruciating decompression. The survivors are then slowly suffocated, frozen, hacked apart while they are still conscious, or crushed by the weight of other animals aboard these floating slaughterhouses. Dolphins, whales, turtles, birds, and many so-called non-target animals are routinely brought in on hooks or nets. Many of these animals are left to die and then tossed overboard. Fish live in a cesspool of bacteria, PCBs, feces, mercury, toxins, and other pollutants that we would never want to eat. But anyone who eats fish flesh swallows these things with every bite. Eating even small amounts of fish can cause serious health problems. Government studies have shown that eating just one can of tuna fish per week can increase a person's mercury level to 30% higher than what is considered safe. Another study found that people with symptoms of mercury poisoning, including hair loss, fatigue, depression, difficulty concentrating, and headaches, got better when they stopped eating fish. A Wall Street Journal article documented the story of a child who went from being an honor roll student on the football team to a remedial student who was unable to catch a ball because he ate too much tuna flesh. The Chicago Tribune told the story of five-year-old Sophie, who had trouble sounding out words that she already knew and forgot how to tie her shoes because she ate just one can of tuna a week. When she stopped eating tuna flesh, she went back to normal. Commercial fishing is taking an irreversible toll on the environment. Bottom trawlers scrape the ocean floor clear of all life, including coral reefs. They have created underwater wastelands. Bottom trawling is the equivalent of clear-cutting forests. Nets and fishing debris continue to maim and kill animals long after the nets have been abandoned. Many companies have now turned to fish farming, another environmental disaster. These cruel underwater factory farms cram tens of thousands of fish into small, filthy enclosures. They also release deadly diseases and non-native fish into sensitive marine ecosystems. Preventing cruelty to animals does not stop at the shore. Meat is meat, whether it is the flesh of a mammal, a bird, or a fish. All meat is red meat. If you care about the environment, your health, or animal welfare, please leave sea animals off your plate. Please visit GoVeg.com to learn more about these issues and to order a free vegetarian starter kit.